Hey everyone, it's Courageous and I'm here with the third cash stuffing of July, the third and final. And yeah, we're gonna get into it. We're going to stuff my weekly spending. And yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little out of it. I didn't get much sleep, but let's hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and get into the video. All right. All right, so let's see how much we're stuffing today. We are stuffing $700. And let's count this money. And this, we're going to do a little bill swap or part of it. All right, so let's count. 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 460, I mean 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 580, 590, 610, 20, 30, 630, 635, 640, 645, 650, 655, 660, 665, 670, 675. And 677, 678, 789, 880, 182, 183, 84, 85, 687, And we're not cash stuffing all of this. This will be a two part video as always. Um, I will do my savings challenges in the next video. But I'm doing it here, but just pretend it's the next video because I'm just going to trim it. I'm going to cut it <laughs> and upload it separately. All right, so let's start with my wallet. If you didn't see my last video, my Happy Mail video, I did order some new cash envelopes from Gina Renee RM Budgets. And of course, her shop will be linked down below. So I did get some new cash envelopes and go see how I set up my dividers this way. It was a whole thing. It was just a whole thing. But groceries and let me open up my other binder so if you are new here or if you don't know <laughs> i split my weekly spending and my i get paid bi-weekly and i split my weekly spending into two weeks so that i don't spend all of the money in one day so half will go in my wallet and the other half will go in my binder so it'll be one week and another week so that this will last me until I get paid again in two weeks. And as you can see, there ain't no money. There's no money. All right, so inflation, inflation has got me all messed up, all messed up. Um, and I had to raise, I had to raise the budget. You have to adjust. That's why we, we look at the budget um, and last, Last week, I went to, to Walmart. Well, this week, actually. Yeah, this week, I went to Walmart to buy a few things, like just to like stock up on, on some remaining things that we needed. And it was a smaller, it was a smaller buy than it was last week. And it was, <laughs> it, it, it felt, it, it was, it was way over budget. Um, like, I was just like, where is this money? I'm thinking we're going to spend like $50, $60. No, we spent like a hundred and something dollars. And I'm like, where, where did it go? So because eggs are the eggs that we buy, we buy like the big carton of eggs because my family loves eggs and we eat eggs every day, but we're about to, we're about to we'll buy some chickens or something and roost them in the, in the, in the backyard because it like the carton of eggs went from, mind you, last week when I bought one, it was 1132. This week when I bought another one, it was 1320. So it went up. It went over, it went up two or more dollars in one, in, in one week, not even a full, it wasn't even a full week. It wasn't even a full, cause I went Friday and then I went again on what, like Tuesday or Wednesday and it went up $2. And mind you, these eggs used to be $7 in some change before inflation started kicking everyone's ass. So I, uh, long story long, <laughs> I've raised the grocery budget to hundred dollars a week so we're doing a hundred dollars each week so 50 100 and 50 100 and that'll be so 50 for next week and and it's just like if it's getting too bad like if i go again and these eggs are and i'm gonna take a picture so fun fact 
they're changing these prices, but they ain't changing the signs. Like for example, the dog food, the Rachel Ray, I get Rachel Ray dog food at Walmart. And when I scan it, it comes up as $53, but the ticket still says $47. So you know what I do every time I take a picture so I can see it's a picture from that day. I'm like, this is what the sign says. And they have to honor that price. So I'm going to do the same thing with the eggs because I didn't realize that they had gone up yet again. So if the sign still says that it's $11, I'm taking a picture. And when I scan it, I'm like, you you have to give me this like because it's ridiculous. So you guys are just raising, raising prices. You ain't, you're not telling us. That's not transparency. And and then I got I got I got I got to find out after it's too late when I'm already home with my with my with my, my my bill with my receipt right so make sure you look over your receipts guys um and i would do it as as i'm there like i'm just like i'm gonna have to take pictures of everything anyway so 100 in groceries for each week gas i'm also raising it even though gas is going down i'm still going to i'm still going to raise it to 100 only because we are you know we out and we are driving around so i'm just gonna end i'd rather have i'd rather have more than less so gas i did change the order of my envelope so and this envelope is from d fd versus set so she'll be linked down below so gina renee are in budgets the cash dividers are from pixie lax planning they do not look like this they look way better this was me adjusting to the <laughs> the new layout of my binder. So I did snip them and hole punch them and all of this and round them with the corners, but they look way much better. <laughs> and if you wanted to see what they look like, just go check out her page. Um, I'm gonna, I gotta switch the orders of the envelope so that they match the order here, but whatever, I'll do that off camera. So Pets is getting 80 and I'm just gonna put all of Pets I'll put, I'll put 60 here. So this is for the food. And then in case I need anything else like dog shampoo or, or anything else, I'll just put it in the next week. So we have 60 here and we'll put this 20 here. And that's because the food with tax and all of that comes out past 50. All right, so then next we have Jess. So me, I am getting I am getting forty dollars. Oh, no, I'm getting twenty dollars. So I'm getting ten this week and ten next week. Come on. And ten next week. And then next miscellaneous. So that is a spend. And these are from Happy Budget Creation. So these are my OGs. So that is 20 and 20. And this is just for me to get candles and stuff. And then 20. All right, and then that is it for the wallet oops and we are going to scarlet scarlet is getting her 15 dollars allowance one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fourteen fifteen and this is she earns a dollar a day for every day that she keeps her room clean and last week i actually gave it to her i gave it to her in advance but she has kept her room clean because you know she's been she's like i want chinese food i want this i want roblox and i'm just like earn it <laughs> like your room is a mess but you're over here making demands of me come on now come on son all right and then let's move to my short-term binder so we're gonna stuff rent now rent has and I, i'm keeping my rent in the in the bank because I don't want to have all this what is your money here so rent currently has 15 and we're gonna stuff 500 so that it completes the rent but instead of stuffing the 500 right because 500 here and 500 we're adding I'm just gonna swap it for this 
thousand dollar prop money so oops dropped my, my tablet <laughs> so now we have two thousand so this um one case slip is from d at d versus set and this one case slip is from gina at gina renee arm budgets so the rent money is complete and this is just to symbolize that that is what i have in the bank now what else so um also stuffing the courageous envelope here so this is just for any spending that i want to do on myself uh, my school the school i teach at is having a theater production of the taming of the shrew and i love me some shakespeare um and i am probably gonna go see that i don't know if my family's gonna go or not but if i can go today i'll go today if not i'll probably take the sunday show since i'm going to new jersey on monday i probably won't go today though because i have to retwist my locks and i i just have things to do but we're stuffing 70 so 20 40 60 70 in courageous And this envelope, I designed it on Canva and I printed it. That's why it's so small, like you see the comparison. But it's cute. She cute or whatever, so I'm still keeping her. All right. So that is the cash stuffing variable, variable spending portion. Let me get you an Oracle card. So if you're new here, um, I, I read tarot and Oracle. And for the budgeting community, every time I do my bi-weekly stuffing, I like to pull an oracle card just to read the energies and give some give a message to those in the budgeting community. So let me get that for you. So this is Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. You can find this basically on Amazon or anywhere, um, but you won't find it like this. I trimmed the edges and I edged it in red um, because it just looks so beautiful. So let's see what the message is. All right, so go the distance. So this is your message. It's it's head to that finish line. And I think this message is really important, especially if you're at the starting line, right? How, what do you need in order to be able to go the distance? And this message has been, I, I can, I've been like giving, I've, I've been preaching this all, all week. I've been like, sister, preach. Um, but it's actionable steps, right? It's training, it's learning, it's assessing, right? What what does it take to go the distance, right? So it it's we know life is a marathon, not a sprint, right? So we need to be build that endurance, we need to build that stamina, but we also need to hone the skills needed to go the distance, right? So what what do you need to do this week? right to go the distance um it's it's since we're talking about bu budgeting right it it might be kind of going a little stricter like for example this week i decided i'm like listen i need to in order to go the distance in order to pay off this remaining debt that i have in order to get my house i have to i have to tighten up i have to i have to build more discipline in some areas of my spending so that I can go the distance so I can meet that goal so I can get to that finish line that finish line to me is my house right now right I need my my, my own place so what discipline do you need to develop or or build or enhance in order for you to go to the distance right what what training do you need right because th these people you know I'm, I'm i'm watching the u.s track and field world championships this week and it's amazing but it's like i know the same way these these athletes are amazing their coaches are also there building those skills telling them how to improve they're constantly and i love i love how they kind of watch them like the replay um uh, to, so that they can see, okay, how did I do that? I, I'm, I'm thinking specifically of an example in the triple jump, right? Um, how did I how did I do that triple jump? How did I land at that distance, right? So that I can do better, or I can did I feel a certain way? Did I my, were my feet placed a certain way? It's it, and then they go talk about it with their coaches. There's one athlete I think in the high jump um, 
who she goes right after, like as soon as she does her jump, it was like, the, yeah, it was the high jump. And she draws in her journal. She writes about the distance that she did. So she journals immediately, like right after, so that she can build to do better, you know, build herself to do better. And she converses with her trainers, you know, with her coaches. How how can I go the distance? What do I need to do? What do I still need to work on? Where am I, where am, where am I lacking or, or, or where am I falling short? So that I can work on building those. So that is to say, that is what you need this week. Assessing how you can go the distance. What's needed, who's needed, who's not needed. Because sometimes <laughs> you, you, you can't go the distance because you got a lot of baggage, right? Um, and, and what do I need to let go of, right? So that I can go faster or I can go harder or I can get that stamina, right? So that is your message for this week for these two weeks. So let me know if it resonates in the comments down below and let me know what you feel you need to go, you need right now to go the distance. And I will see you in my next video, which will be a savings challenges. We'll save that, this money here for that. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe, please hit that like button. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. This is Courageous, stay brave.